Just gotta pull the difficult one, right? Just get it all the way down. There you go. And then, ooh, ooh, oh, hey, okay, yep, we're uh, getting shocked again. Well, the, oh, whoops. Well then. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Sauce. And for today's episode, we get to take our first look at the Seasons expansion, which I know, Something that many of you guys have been very excited for, but me, not so much, honestly. Like, it might just be because I don't keep up to date with these kind of things. You know, I don't watch trailers, I don't go on forums or anything like that, so I have no idea what's included in this. All I know is that when you buy it, you install it, you boot up the game, and it makes you choose a season. Now, we humans are very accustomed to all of these earthly seasons, but just as a reminder, we have spring. Spring is a great time to plant your garden to take advantage of spring showers, but well, watch out for those mud puddles. So, we have rain and gardening. Not the most exciting. We have summer, temperatures are climbing, so beat the heat with water balloons and sprinklers. Watch out for the thunderstorms, they can be electrifying. Okay, that's definitely some new stuff, but it's been summer in The Sims forever. We live in a desert, so I think I'm going to pass on that one too. We have fall, gather your garden produce to make a harvest fest feast to celebrate with friends and family. Enjoy the changing leaves and leaf piles before things get chilly. I'm just, I've never been a big fan about the whole sitting around the table and eating together part of The Sims. What's with the gardening? I can't imagine watching gardening would be all that entertaining. It'd be like watching grass grow. So how about winter? When you're not bundled up indoors, have some fun in the snow or on the ice. Don't forget to decorate for Winterfest and plan your New Year's resolutions. Okay, so we have Christmas, we have New Year's, we have on the ice, which is probably skating, and in the snow? Uh, snowball fights, uh, build a snowman, I, I don't know, that, that sounds awesome. Yeah, I know it's a little stereotypical for the Canadian to pick winter, but we're gonna play winter. I did pick winter, right? Like, I, I know this place is called Oasis Springs, and it's technically a desert, but so far, winter's a little underwhelming. Okay, here we go. So we have weather, we have rain for the first time, but I was kind of hoping for snow being the entire point of winter and this $60 purchase. What do we have down here? Winter, day five of 14. Current weather, heavy rain, cool. Today's forecast is rain. Okay, and then they also added a little calendar. This is kind of interesting. So it says, oh, okay, it actually says when people are gonna be busy and working those days as well. And New Year's Eve is apparently in two days. Good to know. I was gonna say it says the forecast, right? We have uh, rain, partly cloudy, cloudy, sunny, sunny, cloudy, partly cloudy. So am I just not getting snow this winter? What are you willing to bet they made it so that it doesn't snow in Oasis Springs? I swear to God. There has to be some way around it, okay? I'm sure there's some kind of cheat or device that we can use. We're gonna get on it, okay? We're gonna put the whole family's heads together, even if they're tomatoes, and we're gonna come up with a way to make it snow in the desert. Turns out that was way easier than I expected it to be. Because we have Dr. June's weather control device for $1,500, now you too can harness the incredibly unreliable and hazardous power of climate science to satisfy your own personal whims. With enough tinkering, you may even be able to alter the seasons themselves. So I don't know if that's gonna get the job done, but it might. We're gonna have to make a little room up here on the roof. Yeah, we can tinker with that for a bit. What's the worst that could happen? Emma, should we have left the ancient human artifacts out in the rain? Look, don't get me wrong, we couldn't have predicted that it was gonna rain, because it's never rained here before, but putting them away seems like something that we should probably do right after we change the weather. Or do we need to upgrade this thing first? It looks kind of rickety. 
looks sort of like a refrigerator fell down a set of stairs, so how... Whoa! Okay, there are a lot of upgrades to this thing. Maybe it'll just work? Yeah, here we go. Okay, snow or blizzard. How about we start off slow with snow? I think that's probably for the best. I don't think Cap really likes the rain. He's uncomfortably wet. Whoa. All right. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to take back what I said. This thing looked kind of dorky and random, but it's kind of intense once you start pulling levers and twisting dials and whoa, whoa. Okay, watch the dials. Watch the dials. We're making snow, not losing kneecaps here. You got the handiness skill. That's good. Is it snowing yet? Something's wrong. The weather was supposed to be snowing. Yeah, I can tell that it's not snowing, okay? We made it sunny somehow, and you're still dripping wet. I can only imagine how uncomfortable it must be to be standing in the rain in full body spandex. But we're gonna try again, okay? We get infinite tries, plenty of mulligans. We're gonna pull that just the right way. Just the way the machine likes it. Okay, is it gonna fire something into space? Ooh. Okay. The weather controller has successfully changed the weather to be snowing. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad that we have to physically make it snow in winter, but I'll take it. Did we make it sunny and snowing? Because this doesn't seem right. Like, it is snowing, but it's not building up on the ground. The whole family came out and they're a little underwhelmed. <laughs> we can't do anything out here. Should we just go with full-blown blizzard? Yeah, you know what? Why not? What's the what's the worst that could happen? Okay, wasn't expecting to get shocked by it. <laughs> Seriously fried. That was a close call. I really shouldn't mess with any electronics for a while. Oh, come on. Really? Blizzard. Yeah, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you want to get shocked twice, right? Why is this exposed? This doesn't seem safe, especially when you're still dripping wet from the rain and it's now snowing, but come on. Just gotta pull the difficult one, right? Just get it all the way down, there you go. And then, ooh, ooh, okay, yep, we're uh, getting shocked again. Well, the, oh, whoops. Well then. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> and now it's raining again. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> when you said you shouldn't screw with electronics again for a while, you, you really meant it. I was wondering there for a minute why the family wasn't coming up to mourn the untimely death of their father, but it turns out it's because he didn't die. I guess the electricity just kind of mixed with the water and the spandex to kind of shock all of his muscles and seize them up and make him pass out and probably crap himself, but he's fine. So how about we try for a blizzard again? How about we try for a blizzard again in 30 minutes when you stand less of a chance of getting fried again? Soiling your spandex is definitely a worthy repercussion. I can appreciate that, but we want a blizzard. We need snow. We didn't choose winter for it to be bland and a little bit rainy. So we're going to keep our stems away from the conductive MacGuffin over there. And, uh, and we're going to get shocked again. Maybe we should bring in another family member. I'm starting to think you might be a little too wet for this. We're experiencing a heat wave in the middle of the night in winter. Now, Tommy, I know you're a smart boy, but I don't want you to ask any questions, okay? I just want you to help your father make a blizzard. Can you do that for me? Did he really do it first try? The weather controller has successfully changed the weather to a blizzard. There you go. It was just that easy. It looks the same as snow. I don't get it. It said that we successfully started a blizzard, but we're experiencing sun snow, which isn't a big deal. It's just regular snow. <laughs> and the forecast hasn't changed at all. Okay, you know what? I think we have some issues with the fact that we live in the middle of a desert during winter. That was probably a gross oversight on my part. 
<laughs> so how about we go to a different neighborhood? Maybe we can pack up the machine, bring it with us, and see if we can actually get some snow to do some snowy activities today. Oh my god. There has been tons of snow waiting for us, and I think that lady... No, she wasn't cold, okay? I'm pretty sure that was... Emma Watson, right? It's been a while since we've seen her. N nothing weird, okay? She looks like that during the summer. Why are there so many people jogging? <laughs> In the middle of winter. <laughs> you guys aren't really wearing wintry clothes, either. We can see your breath. Which is... Pretty cool. Hey, you breathe. That's good to know. What are we doing? We're, we're all running inside. Yeah, screw winter. Snow is not what we came for. <laughs> so can we do snowy activities? They said that there were... Oh, there are tons of snowy activities. Oh, I don't get to do any of this at home. We can shovel. We can make a snow angel. We can have a snowball fight. We can build a snowman. I want to build a snowman. Well, that escalated quickly. I literally just told them to make a snowman, and seconds later, there's a huge ball prepared. Emma, are you gonna be okay? Like, technically, Cap is wearing gloves, which is a huge advantage, even if they're spandex. <laughs> you have your midriff showing, and it's like... Actually, how cold is it out right now? Freezing cold. Okay, yeah, that's pretty descriptive. Um... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not quite what I expected, guys. I thought you were gonna uh, still work on it a little bit. Is it done? We could destroy it, or we can re- we're gonna rename him. What does he look like? Uh, he kind of looks like a- we're gonna name you, uh, punk Tato Because he kind of looks like a punk potato. Why don't we make a snow angel? And apparently, Barbie is freezing to death. What? Oh, 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 that's not good. You can actually freeze to death in this. Okay, no, no, let's, let's just, uh, let's just go hang out in the bathroom with the rest of the family. Literally everybody is just standing in the bathroom hiding from the snow. Barbie, oh, I'm missing things. It's beautiful, Cap. You, you did a great job. Oh, you probably don't like the snow all that much either, huh? Mm, nope, not really. Okay, well, we need to do more snow time activities, so we're just... We're just gonna kick the crap out of snow Tato. Oh, come on, dude. What did he do to you? He was a cool... Oh, no, okay, Emma's freezing to death, too. Okay, less chess, more bathroom. Whoa, wait a minute, Tom. Where'd you get the winter clothes? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, everybody's out shoveling for no reason. Guys... Shoveling is, a, like, a task. It's something you're forced to do to get your car out. It's not something you go to the park to do for fun. <laughs> oh, we actually do have winter clothes. They just needed a little bit of incentive to put them on. <laughs> they are really ugly. I kind of hope that these snowball fights would be a little bit more vicious, but they tend to just kind of lob balls at each other's feet and then laugh about it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Bean someone in the side of the head. Yeah, there you go, Cap. <laughs> At least you actually hit somebody. Maybe it takes a little bit too much skill to throw a snowball. What if we try a sneak attack? <laughs> yeah, that works. That is the most Christmassy thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, Emma, please don't uh, break your back or, or teleport. Teleporting is probably fine. Okay. We have skating. <laughs> Our own little personal skating rink. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's their first time. Guys, maybe you could just like hold hands or like link arms or something. Come on. <laughs> Emma's the only smart one. She got on it once, realized that she was teleporting all over the place and took off. She's gonna go shovel the field. That's definitely a lot more fun. Can you guys do anything to each other here? Is there any kind of interaction between one another other than dying? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. You can do so much to customize the rinks too. Look, we have custom Christmas lights. We can make uh, sparkles, confetti. I think we already have snowflakes. That's probably fine. Why don't we go with sparkles? Wow, okay. 
<laughs> this is the coolest thing that I've seen yet. We might need a bigger backyard. I want one of these all year round. I'm honestly wondering who's gonna be the first to go to the hospital though. Always seems to happen. If you grew up skating, you know. Somebody gets stitches, somebody gets a concussion, somebody, uh, makes a snow angel out in the middle of the field in her overalls. <laughs> okay, lady, high five, you, you do good. There's no question about it though. There's gonna be brains or tomato innards all over the ice sooner rather than later, guys. That just whacking the back of your head off the ice over and over again. We don't have the choice to wear a helmet or anything like that. Maybe they get better at skating as they go. Oh yeah, they're learning. But I think that might be fitness related, which means Emma would have probably been the best, but she is too busy building herself an actual snowman. Look at that, it doesn't even look like a potato. It indeed does not look like a potato, but it has seen better days. <laughs> and I get the feeling it's getting colder out. Yeah, the whole family isn't too pleased. Have we done everything? I think we got a pretty good taste of winter, right? We did some shoveling, some snowman potato building, some skating. People have work in like an hour. I don't know why we came here throughout the night. <laughs> Maybe doing this in the day would have been a bit better, but uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of room on this rink, so yeah, you know, I'm fine with the little private setting. And back home to the rain. <laughs> okay, you know, winter may not be very exciting here in the desert, but I would be willing to bet that summer is going to be quite eventful. It, you know, it'll probably melt your shoes to the sidewalk, make you feel really uncomfortable. I don't know, we'll be different about summer. <laughs> it's definitely something that we're going to have to check out in another episode. Now, how was it that he ended off these videos? Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll thank see you, you next time. Thank, thank you guys very much for watching this. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Kevin. What you doing? Whoa. Thanks, Kevin. Let's get your family back.